Hey folks, Rick here, Lala Farm. So myself and Patrick, we're gonna do some seeding. So we've got some uh, Bahia seed that we purchased uh, back in uh, last fall. And uh, we're gonna put that down, let that grow up in the goat pasture. Um, kind of self-seeding. If you don't mow it, um, then the heads will, the seeds will fall off the bahia grass and then self-seed. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So we got the seeder put onto the tractor and we're going to spread, we've already done some, we're going to spread this throughout this uh, doe pasture. guys what's going on it's little rick here and this is my contribution to uh getting ready for the spring and summer um during fall winter time kind of me and papa knock it out jointly but uh <laughs> i tell you what during the summertime uh this grass is growing so fast and it rests solely upon the shoulders of this fella to make sure it stays looking top notch so this is just me getting ready Well, Saturday afternoon, we are out in the garden getting these beds filled. So what are we doing with these? So let me show you with this one over here. So uh, Little Rick showed the, uh, the uh, ground cover going down last week. We've been saving boxes for months and months. So we basically cut out the very middle. That way we've got some got an area for worms and things to pass through the beds then we line the bottom of that with uh, cardboard the mulch that we've been making in some cases for two years so that's what's under these two piles here these are the oldest two and then we've got multiple piles around the farm got one over in the buck pen got one over big one over in the doe pen got more over there that's actually uh, where the hog waste goes so this pile here is one year old um, this is actually gonna go uh, on top of the cardboard and then this is two-year-old mulch or compost I should say this two-year-old compost and this is actually what's going on top this is what the bed will ultimately look like so this is that this is that compost that I showed you the two-year-old stuff. This is nice nice and broken down All right, I'm just gonna let the camera set the camera aside and do my thing
bed I already did these two I'm going to bring the blower over and blow this ground cover off so three more beds ready today let me show you where we're at what we already got in the other boxes this is our garlic Easiest thing in the world to grow. We just went to uh, Walmart, picked out the garlic bulbs that had uh, green sprouts coming out of them, broke them apart, stuck them in the ground. Seven days later, you got sprouts. These are beets, ginger here, in this spot here. This is all beets, the rest of this box. Two different varieties of radishes in this box. I don't remember what's in this one. I wrote it down. This is a uh, whole beans or bush beans. I'm sorry, bush beans. Uh, this one I don't remember what I put in that one either. This one is peas. Half the box is peas. I don't have this end. Of, uh, this end planted yet. There's nothing in here. Nothing in this one. And this one's got four different varieties of peppers. Um, everything from a uh, very mild jalapeno, a poblano pepper, um, a sweet red pepper, and a uh, smoked pepper or a paprika pepper uh, that I will then smoke, grind, and make my own smoked paprika that I use in uh, a barbecue rub. So that's where we are with respect to the garden so far hope to get the rest of the cover down on this end uh, this weekend and then uh, get the rest of the boxes I got uh, seven more of the uh, of the green metal boxes hope to get those in um, this weekend as well we'll see if we do I'm not sure if Rick's gonna do an outro on this or if he's done with this video so if he's not Always remember, folks, or if he is, then he can do the outro. If he's not, always remember, folks, treat others as you would like to be treated. La La Farm, out. <laughs>